Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. Today we're breaking out the Napoleonics for a game of sharp practice. So an exciting day here in the Nerd Cave. This is going to be the first official game with the uh, Napoleonics, the Tabletop CP Napoleonics, the French and the British. We have played one game, uh, Patron Battle, for the inaugural battle, and you can find that uh, if you join the Patreon. But this is going to be the first one for the channel proper. We'll be somewhere in Belgium today, so I did what I could. I don't really have a lot of great buildings for Belgium or that time period. Uh, this church, though, is the actual church from the Battle of Waterloo. Place saint -Wall, I believe it is called, something along those lines. Got that from Sarissa, and then I just put some huts out here. Little village. I was talk about the terrain real quick since we're on it. Uh, first of all, we got our geek villain grassy hill mat, which is awesome for this uh, time period and really any time period. It's very, very versatile, very flexible. Uh, other than that, let's see here. So these are going to be soft cover. All the buildings, the walls, the church are going to be hard cover. We got some wheat fields. They're going to be soft cover if you're in it. We have an orchard. So six inch visibility, soft uh, soft cover. We got some woods on the hill. We got some woods on the hill. And those are really the only woods, is that hill, uh, the orchard, and then this hill. And the rest are just gonna be individual trees, just for looks. They're not going to affect the game in any way. And then we also have a few patches of grass scattered around, and those are gonna be soft cover as well. The scenario we are using today is scenario six from the rulebook rescue mission. So in this one, a completely fictional uh, mission here in that the French have somehow managed to capture Wellington's doctor. And they are holding him against his will in a village. And they are going to be holding him in this house. So the French are going to be starting with one group in here. We'll talk about that in a second, who the group is, with the doctor. Meanwhile, the British are going to be... Uh, placing one deployment point within six inches of this building and they can immediately start deploying from it and trying to get the doctor. Meanwhile, the British player will pick to deploy in one of these two halves of the short table edge, another deployment point. He can deploy from either one of those. Uh, the French, meanwhile, are going to be coming in from either this table center here or there randomly. We'll determine that. But uh, to reflect that they are arriving piecemeal. Uh, they're just hearing about this and they're trying to get here. The French can only deploy one, one liter per turn. The objective is for the British to rescue Napoleon's doctor, not Napoleon, I'm sorry, Wellington's doctor, out of this from the French and escort him off of the board via their main deployment point on this table edge. So the French can, they have a couple options. They can either come over here and try to save the doctor or make sure he doesn't get rescued or they can come and try to capture the British main deployment point. Either one of those would be effective for the French as even if they lose the doctor they can still stop him from getting off the board via the primary deployment point. The list we'll be using for these two armies are from Joe McGinn's new 100 Days Campaign army list that he wrote for Sharp Practice. That will be coming out in the Lard Annual I believe this month sometime. But Joe was nice enough to send me a advanced copy of what they are because I wanted to use something more built for this time period as opposed to just trying to use the peninsula list, peninsula list from the book. So thanks, Joe. Uh, the lists are really cool, very comprehensive. There's tons of them, every nation involved. So check that out when the Lard Annual comes out. Now we'll take a look at the forces. Start out with the French force. I guess this would be considered the defending force. This is 78 points, and this comes from the... Napoleon's forces in Belgium, 1815, Army du Nord list. And to start off, we got three groups of veteran French line fusiliers. So these guys are regulars, and they have paw to charge, which allows them to use a couple flags. They can pull some shock and charge forward. Uh, first fire, yes, controlled volley first only. So only one controlled volley from them. And then crashing volley three, step out to drill three. That's the main line. They are commanded by Captain Felix Boudet. He's a level two leader. And he is assisted by Sergeant Maurice Clarel. He is a level one leader, just pulling shock, or maybe other things as well. 
Next up we move up here we have two groups of French Lion Grenadiers. These guys are going to have aggressive and pot of charge. They're going to be regulars and they have first fire yes, control volley first only again, crashing volley two, step out two. They're going to have two leaders. They have in command Lieutenant Bastian Van Dam. He's a level two and assisting him is his sergeant Alex Malat, a level one leader. Moving on we have two groups of line voltageers they're called in the list here but they are skirmishers just with muskets and they have sharp practice two groups of those guys uh, first fire yes step out two the first group here is commanded by sergeant martin fraser he's a level one leader and then sergeant uh let's see here lars shiving is going to be commanding the second group of voltageers uh, these are two of my patrons the rest of the French guys are not patrons because I don't really have a lot of French sounding patrons except for uh, Martin. He's, uh, yeah, okay, and that's it. And then finally, we have one group of Laguerre light infantry, and they're going to be the ones holding Napoleon's doctor, who's that guy there in the front in the house. So they're going to start off in there, and they are, let's see here, Laguerre, Voltigeurs. First fire, yes, uh, sharp. So pretty much the same exact thing as the voltageers, except for their light infantry, and these guys are only skirmishers. So that's it, 78 points and seven leaders. And Dr. Van Nostrand is gonna be his name. That is Napoleon's doctor. I keep saying Napoleon, it's Wellington's doctor, Dr. Van Nostrand. Here we have the British. This is the scum of the earth list, British forces under Wellington, Belgium, 1815. So the core bulk of the force is going to be three groups of light company, British light company. Uh, first fire, yes. Control volley, yes. Crashing volley, two. Step out, one. And they have light bob, sharp practice, and thin red line. Light bobs means they just get an additional, I believe it's three inch deployment distance from the deployment point as they are light infantry. So they still have the little bit better deployment distance, but they will fight in line. Three groups of those guys, commanded by Lieutenant Harry Elsden. He's a level two leader. Now all these guys on this side are gonna be patrons. And assisting him is Sergeant Allen Downs. He's gonna be a level one leader. Moving up, we have two groups of British light infantry skirmishers. These guys are just your typical British light infantry, just with sharp practice and muskets. And as usual, we have Lieutenant Dan Klein. I'm sorry, this is Lieutenant Klein up here. In the first group, and the second group is commanded by Sergeant Luke Lankowski. Next up, we have one group of rifles, 95th Rifle Skirmishing. And they are commanded by Lieutenant Bill Thompson. And they have rifles, and I believe just sharp practice. Oh, and tap reload as well. So sharp practice and tap reload. And then finally, rounding out the force, we have Lieutenant Simon Anderson and his light gun. And that's it. That is the British force who's going to be attempting to rescue Wellington's doctor, Dr. Van Nostrand. And now, uh, oh, now when uh, Andre gets here, we'll, we'll get started. So Andre's arrived. Uh, I briefed him on the mission. And we're going to roll off to see who is who. So let's just roll the D6. We'll say the high roll is the British. Okay, I'm the British. Okay, so I will be trying to uh, rescue Dr. Van Nostrand. And I do have a question for you. Yeah. Um, how many more points is the British list than the French list? They're both 78 points. Seriously? Yep. Wow. Exactly. I would not have guessed that. It looks like the British list look, just looks beefier to me, but okay. Uh, uh, okay. So let's roll our force morale. Okay. All right. Woo! So we're both at an 11. Don't even need to look that up on the chart. <laughs> <laughs> and that's... Uh, Choose easy. Choose easy. Oh, and then I did forget to mention that there's a tap reload rule that's going to change. It's part of the uh, the list that uh, Joe made, and if you do tap reload, that's it. You can't ever go back to rifle. Uh, I would think, though, if you had like a water cart, that'd be something you could do with the water cart, just to give you something else to use it for. Well, yeah. I mean, really, it would be a uh, brass brush for the end of your rod, but... Uh... Or they just pissed in there. That's what they did in Sharp's practice. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they would pee in their uh, barrels to clean them out during the battle, I guess. Huh. Anyway. So. That, that just doesn't seem like an effective uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how effective cleaning method, but uh, I'll take your word for it. In a pinch, in a pinch. 
So that'll do it. So we're ready to begin. Okay, we're gonna be using the uh, Infamy deck tonight since the chips are so screwed up looking. Well. So Tempest Fugit oh. will be Tiffin. So, oh yeah. Uh, who's so blue? <laughs> you're, you're blue, you're the French. I'm blue. So uh, that's... Leader six. Yes, yeah, Sergeant Lars Shiving. That's one of your uh, Volti Jairs. So Shiving has come out here. Got to, kind of got ahead of ourselves. Deployment point for Andre wound up here. Mine is over there in those trees where those pigs are. And then I placed one within six inches of the building, which is going to be that. So we might have to move our deck area. Uh, Maybe. Most likely. Is this uh, going to be a problem for you? No, that's fine. All right. We'll let uh, Robert take over. Well, okay. then uh, blue five. Doesn't matter. Five. I'm done. Yeah, that's right. Andre can only bring in one unit per uh, one unit per turn. So yeah, we'll just skip all of those. Tempest Fugit. Okay then. <laughs> well, and that's why you bring something out when you can. Yep. Turn two. See if we can get uh, something on the board. What do you mean? Wouldn't it be funny <laughs> if? Uh, Andre Blue wound up two. getting all this stuff out before me. Uh, that's Maurice Clarell, your sergeant for your main line. Uh, I don't need just a sergeant. Okay. Red four. Red four, Lankowski. Lankowski has come in um, You're right here. Jumping ahead. I'm jumping ahead. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Blue seven. Blue seven. Pierre, Pierre, oh, that's your guys in here. Oh. So. Andre decided to leave Pierre in the building with Van Nostrand. Red five. Red five. Red five. That is Lieutenant Oop. Bill Thompson. Bill Thompson, Lieutenant, has come in here from the primary deployment point. And he is in range with his rifles of shaving. And we are going to fire. So first fire, long range, sharp, uh, light infantry needing fours. One, two, three, four hits, Andre. Okay. Soft cover. Give me some shock. Okay, I see uh, two, two shock. shock, so that's four shock. shock. Ooh. Nice, nice. That's not easy to get rid of for a level one leader either. I forgot to mention that our support points, Andre got a drummer and he boosted Felix Boudet, the main, the big man up to a level three. And I brought the drummer and the uh, flags. Next card. Blue three. Blue three. That is uh, Lieutenant Bastian Van Dam. Yes, your grenadiers. Lieutenant Van Dam has come in here with his grenadiers, looking that way towards Thompson and the rifles. Red flag. Oh goody. The big man. The big man, Harry Elsden, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Elsden has come in from this deployment point. He also ordered Lankowski to move out, and he got way up here up the hill. I never mentioned Andre decided. He, um, he rearranged them how he wanted, um, and he just he withdrew them into the building so they can't be seen. So that's why I'm not shooting yet. We know he's in there, but the doctor's in there too, so we're being cautious. Tempest, Tempest Fugit. Fugit. And what is it? One, I have a flag? You have a flag, but I think everything on the nothing. table's moved. Got nothing. Okay, next turn. Red flag. Blue flag. Hey, look, Andre, there's a blue flag in there. Wow. Blue six. Blue six. Uh, that is Sergeant Lars Shiving again. That's your guys out here with right the four there. shock. Shiving, uh, well, he tried to book it for the building and with this four shock, he, did book it. he rolled a six, so we moved a whopping two inches. Blue five. Fraser, that's your other group of bull teachers. Fraser has deployed in a screen in front of the Grenadiers. And that is it for Andre's deployment. The big man. <laughs> Okay, then. Red four. Sergeant Alex Malat. That's your sergeant in here. Okay. Red five. That is Bill Thompson, who will reload. Full reload. Next card. Red flag. You have two red flags? You have two red flags, yes. Mm. Next card. Okay. It's Harry Elston. Big man, Elston again. Um, they're presented. They're just waiting. Yeah, come on out. <laughs> <laughs> we know you're in there with the doctor, damn it. Red six. Jedi Knight Simon Perkins. Anderson. Simon Anderson has come in from the primary. 
and he's going to fire a solid shot into the grenadiers. So presented first fire, five down to threes. One, two, three, four, five hits. And we'll put it onto uh, the, I think the big man he here. He can splash over though. Uh, and so this is so the skirmish screen actually increases their cover, but the cannonball brings it back down to open. So I'm not less than open. Whoa! Wait, well, hang on. <laughs> so oh. you can. Like, yeah, he yes. did. So he I'm lost a man, lost a man, and took two shock. Sorry. Three shock. Yeah, took a few shock and lost a couple dudes. Yeah, that was rough. I'm on a roll. Anderson did it. Okay, next card. Survey says Good job, Anderson. Red Four. That is Sergeant Lankowski, the light infantry. Lankowski has just moved up into the wood line there. Still can't see anything in the house. That's blue flag. Blue that. flag. That's two. Two blue flags. Red flag. How many is that for me? Three? Three. Hmm. One more flag and it's a random event. All right. Yep. Lieutenant Thompson is going to have his men fire his rifles with the sharp practice for two flags. Back at Shiving. This time I'll be hitting on... I believe just five. Did I move out of range by chance, accidentally? Oh, you moved two inches? It was... No, you're still within. Still within. 32 inches. I'm out of range. <laughs> the 32 inch rifles. Two hits. Soft and cut. I'll spread them out. One on each. Two more shock, though. Two more shock? Yeah, I'm still hitting you from the flank. Yeah, the, the oh. shock is doubled from... The four. Okay. Like only one of those was a shot. This card, shiving is up to six shock now. Blue, red out. two. Allen Downs. He'll just chill. Okay, so I got two flags again. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna sharp practice my cannon, so it will fully reload. The French are in a bad spot right now. Do you burn oh, all your flags? Oh, it's not gonna get any better anytime soon either. Blue three. I don't know about that. You just got Bastion Van Dam. Your Grenadiers. Hey, look at that. The Grenadiers have done a paw to charge. So he pulled off all his shock. He had three, I believe. And then he moved 3d6. So he had like a, what? 15, 15 inch, inch move. So there they are. They're trying to hide behind oh, the... Uh, blue flag. Orchard. Okay, that's another blue flag. Tempest Fugit. Okay. And Andre, do Only you have... Yeah, Andre's the only one with Pierre, flag. Pierre could do something. Have these guys done? Uh, they they've already out, been activated. I've used all my flags. I've done yeah. two well, sharp yeah, but he's Oh, oh yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. And our uh, Pierre Pierre has brought Van Nostrand out. He got a really good roll. They came out through the door and came around the back side of the building looking up towards Lankowski. Red That's two. Sergeant Downs. Red six. Phil Thompson. Simon Anderson. Simon Anderson. Present and fire Simon Anderson's light cannon back at Van Damme's Grenadiers. Eden Fours. Six. Three and three. It splashes over the adjacent group. From these guys? No. No, these, these two. Those two. Even though I think I probably can't even see them, but that's fine. Our cannonball will go through that. Yeah. Um, orchard, no problem. He's firing at the... Three and three. Just one dead. dead. And no. Whoa, just one dead. Okay. Nope. Not as effective as shooting at Anderson that time, but take another kill. You're probably now out of sight. <laughs> that's what I was thinking, too. Yeah, he's killed himself to out of sight. Blue flag. Blue flag. Two blue flags. Two blue. With a pot of charge. Red flag, random event. Okay, Fire that was Simon event. Anderson. Go. Random events. Five. Five. Fire! The nearest building within 12 inches of the fire is caught alight. Mm. That would be the church. Within 12 inches. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, nothing, nothing burns down. Okay. Next card. Okay. Any non random event. Another blue. Hey, look at that. Two flags. Yep. Hey, hey I could start practice. Blue four. Blue four. four. Sergeant Alex Malat, who's your sergeant in your grenadiers. Nothing for him to do because you've Not got yet. no shock. 
You can always split them off. Yeah. Another flag. I can activate. Leader two. Sergeant Maurice Clorel. That's your sergeant over there. Um, so if I wanted to bring in my main line, I'd have to do that. With the one. With the one. Or three flags. You yeah. have three flags, you could bring them in. But I can't do right that now. after the... Not after the tiffin, you'd have to do it right now. Uh, Big man has come in here, kind of in a staggered column, facing this direction. He's assuming Lankowski's got bigger fish to fry over here. Next card. Survey says... Blue five. Fraser. That is your skirmish screen. Oops. Fraser and the skirmish screen have... To the left face, and they've started moving out into the village. Tempest Fugit. Oh man, I was going to do sharp practice. I forgot to mention before you pulled that. <laughs> great, that's great. Uh, well, what what do I have that has that's uh, what who is activated? I guess I should um, say. Um, the cannon and Sergeant Downs. Okay. So and Andre has no. So I got two flags. Yep, you get two flags. Okay, I'll just reload everyone then. Actually, bah, man, I damn sharp practice. Yeah, go ahead and let him in. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to have Lankowski do something. I've reloaded the cannon, and then I'm going to use my last flag to have Lankowski fire onto the these guys here. Uh, needing anything but. 12-inch range, first fire, light infantry. Elevated position. Two butts. <laughs> yeah, elevated, yeah. Five hits, soft cover. Five hits? Yep. Mm -hmm. Or four hits. I thought it was four. Four. Yeah, four hits. Because you can't roll for the officer. With, with, one shock. with, one shock. So fire and reload. Not a very good first fire. Next card. Blue four. That's Malat. Over here, Sergeant. Uh, he's got no shock to reduce. He's got nothing to do. That's Van Dam. So that is your main guy here, or your grenadier commander. Yep. Van Dam and his grenadiers have moved into the orchard. They're just six inches out, so the cannon can't see them, but maybe the rifles could from where they are. Because it's a shorter shot in. Yeah. Red 5, Luke Skywalker. That's Bill Thompson again. I don't have any flags, do I? Nope. Well, you have one. One. Damn. Okay. He'll just reload. Okay. The big man, Harry Elston. Okay, here we go. Lieutenant Elston, he's ordered Downs to break off with a group, and they're going to start coming around this direction, and then he moved the, uh, the last two groups of the formation up. So Downs is off by himself now. So that's Maurice Claret, or mm -hmm. Clorel, which is your sergeant in here. That is Fraser. These guys in the conga line here. Fraser has moved down the road, sort of re rearranged his men back into their tray. Tempest, Tempest Fugit. Okay, and I'm the only one that has a flag, huh? You have one flag. Well, uh, Lankowski. <laughs> Charge! We'll just have Lankowski reload and fire back at these guys again. Even threes. Uh, nice. hey, look at that. Six hits. And, oh, dead. Could be the doctor. And three shock. Yeah, we're going to treat the doctor as a leader. So we'll see if it's one of your leader. We'll see if it's your leader. No. Nope. Dead and three shock, though. So they're up to four shock now and a dead troop. Mm -hmm. Some casualties. Wait a minute. I actually have a casualty for these guys. We'll put them out there. There we go. All right, next, uh, next turn, then. Red flag. Cool. Red one. Okay, that's uh, Harry Lieutenant Elston. Elston again. Elston has ordered downs up. He's got up here, took him both his moves so he couldn't shoot. Meanwhile, um, Elston had his formation wheel backwards just to get online facing this way. So I don't want Fraser coming up around behind me, which I see is probably going to happen. <laughs> <Tempest -y laughs> and a flag. Have a free turn, Travis. Oh, another turn. Um, Lankowski. <laughs> Uh, actually, I probably should start putting some fire into these grenadiers here. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn the cannon. That's what I'm going to use this turn for. Okay. I'm going to turn the cannon and line up on those grenadiers. So if they come out of that 
orchard or move up an inch, it's hammer time. Next <laughs> card. A red six, cannon. The cannon again, darn. Uh, so you can't see these guys. They are just, and I'm now lined up. They'll just present. Blue four. Blue four is Alex Malat, Sergeant of the Grenadiers. Blue seven. Pierre Pierre. Pierre Pierre. Haven't seen him, his car come out for a while. <laughs> yeah. Pierre Pierre has managed somehow to get himself and Van Nostren out of line of sight of Lankowski and Downs. He's just able to get around the corner there. Red three. Red three. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan has deployed from the primary into the wooded hill. And he's going to help defend the escape route uh, with or from the Grenadiers. Next card. Blue flag. Blue Van three, Dam. Van Dam. That is your Grenadier. Bastion Van Dam has ordered the two groups to snap into column inside the orchard. Still out of sight, though, from everyone. Now he's out of line of sight, I believe, even from Thompson. That was the idea. Blue flag. It's two. Harry Elston. Harry Elston. Lieutenant Elston has ordered downs around the corner. He got another crappy move, only a three-inch move. But he is here now. Meanwhile, we wheeled with 1d6. We got into range, and we're going to throw a volley down into these guys. Things going into them. I thought I'm about an inch short of these guys. So everything into here. Uh, okay. Uncontrolled volley. I'm not, I can't present. So it's just going to be a musket volley. Needing threes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen hits. That's all. Not all you got. In soft cover. Ooh, this could be bad. Could be bad. <laughs> <laughs> He's already got four shock. Yeah, but routing would route him back towards the main man. That would actually be a good thing. Yeah, wow. Yeah, well, I see a Too couple dead. of dead. I see all of that is... Oh, these aren't. Uh, yeah. You're in soft cover. So two, so two dead and two, two shock. Dive. Check you. your leader. Uh, nope. nope. Not the leader or the doctor. But you do lose two more troops. He might... Uh, I mean, yeah. I'll have to check what you, how many shock you have compared to guys. Pierre Pierre's group did have to fall back two inches. They have six shock with four guys. And bad thing was nothing. Next card. Nelson is now unloaded. Red flag. Just one. Okay. Blue two. That's Sergeant Maurice Clorel. Tempest Fugit. <laughs> So we both, uh, Andre has two, two flags. flags. I have one. The first flag, Andre's moved, uh, Fraser moved up only two. He's going to fire and reload at Elston. What did you say, needing fours? Fours. Three hits. Three hits, all right, let's put him on three that. Three dead. Group. group on the end there. Uh, three shock. It's not horrible. Not good either. Okay, so now these guys can no. Uh, no, it's my turn now. Oh. Yeah, so you get to use one of your flag. My flag, I'm going to have Lankowski fire into the big man's group. Even fives. Uh, just one hit. Shock. Two shock. Two shock. Cool. And then Andre's got one flag left. Yep. Sure. This but is a family friendly you game. You did turn stuff. around, Andre. Uh, so, that, Andre, we're using the new, the new rule that if you're in column, not on the road, you throw all 3d6 and pick the two highest. So we about faced. And then Andre went and promptly rolled three ones. But I haven't chosen yet. I, I still get to choose. <laughs> you can pick the two highest, and then you can move that far. Uh, but he has two shocks, so he's not moving so, anywhere. So, well, what, hey, hang on. I haven't face. decided which ones I want to, which ones do I want to, let's see. So I got two shock. <laughs> I think these two. The uh... I can't decide. <laughs> I I pass. So they did. They did turn around though. We got that going for them. Next card. Oh yay! <laughs> Blue flag. Red flag. Red four. It's Red Lankowski. four. Lankowski again. 
Kelsey's gonna stay on his hill and he's gonna fire back. Forgot to add the plus one to hit for him being in call the last time. Implying that I actually have gotten to fire, but uh Alright, now I'm needing fours for Lankowski in the Felix B Day. One, two, three, four hits this time. Put them on these guys here, I guess, in the front. Well, split them. It's got a split, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Yeah, I don't Their know. Formation, two and two. I thought groups could pick out groups, but. I don't think so. Yeah, just split them up. It's fine. Um, so, uh, front, I assume you want two on there. I want two Would on the big man. Two on the big man? Yep. Okay, two on the big man. Two shock. And then one. Nothing. And Another one. Shock. So, so three more shock for Lankowski, not bad. Three more? Yeah, well, two shock and the big man. Two shock. Lankowski will reload. Just hold this position on the hill. Blue flag. Blue two, downs. Ah, Sergeant Downs. Hey. Downs, uh, took a shock because I moved 3d6 and I wanted to make sure I made it. I would have done th thin red line, but I didn't have enough cards. That would have been sweet, fire a volley and then go in. But I did move 3d6, so I took a shock. And we're assaulting Pierre. Pierre, we're going to try to rescue Van Nostrand. We got, uh, so we just wiped him out. We had way more dice than him. If you have four times more dice, auto win. He was getting hit from behind with six shock, only a few guys left. Uh, so we've dispatched the Laguerre. We've rescued Van Nostrand. Downs has. And bad thing for the group wiped out. Um. Uh, minus one. So and down then, to 10. I captured Pierre Pierre, a level one leader. So roll a bad thing for level one leader. We'll say the worst thing that can possibly happen. Route captured. off table. Yeah, we captured. Oh, the, I thought you killed yeah. him. No, he was captured. Oh, I want to capture him. They're all captured. Level one leader routes. What'd you roll? Two. Minus one. That's it, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, Andre's down to eight. And How downs. Or nine. <laughs> <laughs> Next card. <laughs> Elston. Uh, Elston. Hey, you got nothing to shoot at anymore. Well, we're, we'll reload and we'll try to get them under control again. <laughs> Might not do it. Even with light bobs. I don't think so. No, and I don't think a so. drummer. Elston, you burned a flag to pull a shock. He also had them wheel back. And reload, and I did get them under control on two plus. Red flag. The red flag. Blue two. Maurice Clarell. Oh, hey, he's got work to do now. Ooh. Andre. You could pull some shock. Mm -hmm. Down to two in front. Nice. Uh, blue six. Blue six. Lars Shiving. I haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> He's yeah. got to stand here with a six shock this whole time. At least you can get a rear shot on him again. <laughs> Sergeant Shiving has moved his men up. Blue five. five. The Fraser. That's these full TJs. Fraser is going to fire, reload, and then move this direction mm. towards the house. Uh, seven shots, and you're going to be long range. You've already done your first fire. So you're just going to be at fives. Oh, he gets plus for being light infantry, doesn't he? No, he's, he gets, yeah, that's why he's at fives. He's already fired once. Six plus one for light infantry. Okay, yeah. Well, technically they're not light infantry, but... Well, I got one for being at long range, and I got three hits. Okay, uh, three hits. Two shock on the end group there. Doubled their shock. Yeah, we got a lot of shock now all of a sudden. Okay, and then one D6... Six towards the house. Next card. Grenadiers. Van Dam. Grenadiers in the orchard. Van Dam is staying put. What? Ah, blue one. Captain blue one. Felix Boudet. Many, and, and two uh, flags. One, one, flag. Flag. <laughs> one flag. One flag. Of course. He can't do paw to charge. He was able to get up here and form line with all of his commands and everything. Yep. Did a little wheeling. A little dealing. So there he is. Finally ready. Defend. Blue flag. Okay, or or a bunch of blue flags. That's what he needed. <laughs> you need those in the other order. He needed those last time, yeah. Uh, your artillery. You need to stop. Simon Anderson. Uh, yeah, he's just uh, chilling. 
Red flag. He's protecting his, uh, how many flags Red do I have three. Here? Red three is, hey, it's Lieutenant Dan. I have two flags? You have two flags that have not been used, yes. Lieutenant Dan has moved up to the edge of the wood line and now has line of sight to Van Dam and his Grenadiers. Those Van Dam Grenadiers. Another flag. So I got two. Hmm, is there anything I can do with two flags right now? Do I have? Downs has already went, right? You've got three flags. Yeah, but what do I have left? I don't think I have anything left. I don't left. think you do have anything left. I think all oh, your stuff's gone, I believe. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, what do I have left? Um, whoever Red 5 is. Red 5 is Thompson. That's Thompson. my rifles. Yep. Um, yeah. Let's keep pulling. Tempest Fugit. Okay. Andre goes first. He's got more flags. Of course, he has nothing left. Yeah, <laughs> yep. So it's just Thompson. Thomas has moved out. <laughs> a whopping four inches on 3D6. Well, I was trying no... to get into range of these guys and get some double shot going, but yeah. apparently he didn't want to leave his cover, like Andre said. So we'll move on to the next turn. Ready? Blue six. Blue six, shiving. And that is uh, the guy with the horn here. He's just going to pull the shock. Next card, blue, blue flag. Blue flag. Blue five. Blue five. Fraser. It's these guys. You said you want. So Fraser has come around the corner. He's going to fire it down. So seven. Seven. Seven shots. Even threes. Threes. No fours. He needs to be at long range. Oh yeah. Plus one for skirmishers. Uh, I'll take it. Yeah. How many is that? Six hits. <laughs> Six Damn. hits. In the open. In the open. On downs. Uh, Bunch of shock. Five shock. Five shock on downs. All right then. Oh, he's already got some shock. Oh. Six shock now. Oh, that's right. He took one from running. <laughs> Next card. <laughs> Red five. Red five. Bill Thompson. Okay. Well, we're gonna move up again. How about that? Uh huh. Yeah. That as wasn't as far as he moved on three d six last turn. We're gonna move up and half reload. Move up, fire, and half reload. Flank shot on the big formation. Uh, only one hit, but I could get a shock here. We could. Yeah. We did. Two more shock. So they're up to six shock. I'll just say it's on these okay. guys here. Shooting Next card. In the middle of the line. Mm -hmm. Red flag. Cool. Red one, Harry Elston. Hmm. Elston, I uh, used one of his commands to move. Oh no, I can't do that. I can't pull a shock. He used a oh. command to move down the line just to get in range of downs. Okay. And he had downs run down the road. That's. That's two commands. Oh, he's only level two. Yeah. Okay. Next card. We won. Oh, it's a good thing I got downs out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. He's going to uh, take a shock off of each with the. Felix Boudé, and then he's going to present his one first fire, one time only present, and he's going to unload on poor Lankowski with 26 shots. Needing fours? Yep. Yeah, because first fire and you're a controlled volley. 13 hits. Come on, hardcover. 13 sixes. No. Only six sixes. Oh man, three of them are down. Just three. Half of my force is dead. Fours no are... shock. Fours aren't shock? No, because I'm in hard cover, but I did lose three guys. Oh. Uh, we'll see if it's Lankowski. It is not oh. Lankowski. So no shock, but ha three guys killed, which is pretty wild. Which actually out of a group like that is... That's half my group. So that was harsh. All right, next card. Well, it was also uh, my big... My big... Red flag. Shot out. your wad. <laughs> okay. Two red flags. Hold on. Um, two flags and do sharp practice on Thompson's men. Firing random event. Firing random event, Andre. Oh. Your favorite Three. thing. Fire again. It'll probably be the charge forward. Fire at will. Or a damp squig. Are you ready? I'm ready. Give me a nine. Charge them to hell. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Inspired by their volley and convinced the enemy is done for, the fire surges forward 2d6 inches. Interesting. I don't think you can make contact. Do I ignore shock? I don't think so. Nine, Nine seven, inches. seven inches. 
So they're going to charge forward seven towards what's left of Harry, or not Harry Lilston, but oh, Lankowski. Lankowski. They wound up up there. We got time to get Lankowski out of there. <laughs> time to go, dudes. And it's his card. It is Lankowski. Well, and he doesn't have any shock. He doesn't have any shock. Lankowski, he's made it down the hill. He used his last, command, or last action to reface. He's now... What's left of him? What's left of him? Uh, Grenadiers. Van Dam. Grenadiers. Hey, look, targets. Well, there he is. Van Dam is uh, somehow got out here and got into line. <laughs> <laughs> the I'm Grenadiers. Um, you can put that tree back up, right? Ah, next card is a blue flag. Blue flag. Ooh. And I got two flags, you say? You have two flags. Mm, uh, okay. I'm trying to think if I can do anything with that right now. I don't think so. Tempest Future. Perfect. <laughs> and all my guys already You've gone. activated, didn't they? Probably. No. Um, wait, yes. Okay, I'm going to turn my cannon again. <laughs> That's my one of my flags, and I got, what, what do I have left? In the all back? right, guys, back in the orchard. I think I still have... You've down. got um, Thompson. Thompson, I thought he already went. So you sharp practiced him. Oh, so he could fire. Yes. Okay, I'll do something with Thompson. Thompson is going to fire at Fraser over there by the building. Eight and fives. One hit. Yeehaw. Soft cover. Ah, nothing. I needed a shock or two shocks. That's what I wanted. And then I'm uh, unloaded again. This has moved back with his uh, action, and then his free action, he just turned back around. Unloaded. Just hoping to put some shock on Fraser there. Didn't happen. Fraser, that's him. Fraser, that's what we were just talking about. Seven, Seven shots. For four. So he's made it around, and he's going to fire at the back end of Downs, who's just kind of standing out in the road there. Mm -hmm. Hey, boys, you see what I see? Four hits. Four hits. Uh, oh, a dead and four, four shock. shock. You are way over. It's not shock. downs. Because you're at ten shock right now. Ten. I lost one dude. Yep. Uh, so I guess they're gonna go that way, <laughs> away from the enemy, which is fine. Now they're gonna crash through the line. And how many shock do I have? Ten. Ten. Uh, I only go an inch. I only do uh, a. One inch. And then, um, bad things happen. Bad thing. Nothing. Okay. And then Fraser is unloaded. Uh, Next card? Yeah. Your cannon. Oh. Hmm. Mr. Cannon. I see a nice flank shot on some flank grenadiers. Shot. Look at that. Yeah. Simon Anderson. Cannonball in the ass. Of Felix Boudet. Uh, present and fire, boys. So needing fours. One, two, three, four hits. So all on. Uh, yeah, you, you can just split, split them. Up you there. can split them under the middle group, but not the far group. So put two on the big man. the big man. Okay, a and shock. A dead and a dead. <laughs> Damn, I don't want dead. I want shocks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah, care about killing a couple Both of Dan dudes. The middle group. Cause he's a, if he's aiming at the big man, he it, it spills up. So they're at six shock and then uh, they lost uh, two guys. I guess a guy out of there and a guy out of there. Okay, next Red card. Five. Red five. Bill Thompson again. He uh, He's double unloaded. Yeah, he'll uh, fully reload and... That's it. Mm, no. Oh, he's got, he's got a free move. But. Finally gave him a command they could yeah. understand. Thompson uh, decided to just half reload, move back, and then use my last action to turn around. So now we are back where we started, half unloaded. Next card. Red flag. Nice. Blue four. Blue four, that's my lat. Yep. You got no shock to remove. No shock. Blue two. The other well, end. you have shock here you can remove. Huh. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Next card. Blue Boudet. one. That's your main man, Blue Day. Blues. Yeah. Okay, so this this formation has been completely broken up. 
Boudet has sent the two end groups by themselves out. He took a shock there for running three. Uh, they didn't quite make contact. Meanwhile, didn't run uh, Cla six. Maurice Clarell is shock. going to just turn and fire at downs. He will be unloaded. So uh, minus two. Five shots. Uh, so you're going to have eight, nine. Uh, so seven. Seven. Okay. I, mean, I think you're just needing fours, right? You're within uh, 12? No. We are over 12. Okay, so it's sixes. Ooh, wait. 12 to your Still leader. two. You still got two hits. Oh, man. Oh, nothing. Uh, I thought it was all hits. No, if you're long range, you need sixes. Um, even if you're... Oh, from behind. Yeah, that didn't, that's only a negative to me, not a positive yeah. for you. All right. Next card. Nice. Um, I need uh, Lankowski. <laughs> Lankowski, please. Uh, Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan has come off the hill, only seven inches. The Grenadiers. The Grenadiers. Okay, Andre. Now you can finish off your master plan. Now and Dan you... has moved. Uh, well, he's sent both groups this way. He sprinted both of them. They wound up like that. Took a shot. Okay. He's obviously abandoning the rush on my main deployment point now. Blue flag. Tiffin. Two blue flags. After I've got all my leaders <laughs> activated. Random event. Random events. That'll be a moving event for yep. Van Dam, moving Andre. Van Dam. Random. Random Van Dam. Give me a three. three. Ooh, that's a moving three. Damn dog. Oh. The leader commanding the unit, which has moved, is trodden in something unpleasant. His status is reduced by one until he finds water to wash it off. The stench will also repulse any lady he associates with. All right, ladies. Reducing his looks to a hideous freak. So you're level one now, Van Dam. <laughs> yeah, put a mark on just so we remember that. <laughs> Got shit on his boot. There is a well over here. So if oh. you just get there, you could uh, okay. you can wash it off and be That's where we're headed. Again. Hey, it's Downs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what does he have, 10 shock? Yeah. Actually, I think I should have probably have moved um, involuntarily again. Oh, no, oh, I didn't no, take, you didn't you didn't take, take any, any hits. Yeah. hits. Uh, I could pull a shock with him. You can pull a shock with him. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. Nice. Okay. Um, or. Wait, no, he is not activated yet. So Elston's card hasn't pull been pulled. So Downs. Uh, and how so many? He can one flag, two flags. Two flags. Downs has made it. Uh, well, he's got clear of Elsden at least, but he's up there now with Van Nostrand. Next card. Red flag. That's three red flags, huh? Yep. So shiving. My blue six came out, and he's got five shock. Having pulled, uh, used his two flags, pulled a couple shock, and then he moved up here. Okay. Blue oh, flag. Blue flag. Elston. I already blew, Elston. so I bur burned two flags. Elston had Blankowski move. He didn't get a very good move, but he is back in the wheat field now. So that's hard cover. And he wheeled himself up a D6, and we're going to fire an uncontrolled volley at Fraser in fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten hits. On to Fraser and the soft cover. And you are now unloaded and uncontrolled. Again. Again. But hey, on anything but, who cares? Uh, so only one dead, but... Three shock. Three shock. So just one dead guy. Which, not too, too bad, but the three shocks, not good. Okay, and I got three cards still out there. And the only other, I think that's everyone for me. Let me do a, uh, yeah. before you pull anything else, do I have anything left in the deck? The only card that has not come up is Lankowski. And he already went. So I'm going to do a sharp practice with these guys. Okay. Okay. And then, did you, I think you're all done, aren't you, Andre? Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. toast. Then, yeah, next card. Lankowski. Blue flag. Red flag. Woo. Hold on. Uh, you got two flags, Andre. You could actually do sharp. These guys have sharp practice. They do? Yeah. 
your skirmishers have sharp oh. practice, so you could reload I them before the no tipping idea. comes out. Okay, thank you. And you got two flags, sharp practice on yours, because you I know the tiffin's last. All that's left is the tiffin. I don't think I have two flags left. You have two left. flags left. You have two. Oh, I do. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, no, because the cannon, has he gone yet? Yes. That's right, he fired. Okay. First card. We'll just use our last two flags to sharp practice. Tempest and that's, uh, Tiffin. Lankowski. Hey, here we go. Lankowski. Oh, good. Lankowski. Good. I thought we were going to start with me. <laughs> uh, Lankowski's going to move. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to move back. Deep. Lankowski's moved back. Uh, and then he used last action to turn back around. Next card. Red flag. Red flag. Stop. Sharp practice. Okay, here we I'm go. You get a penalty for an uncontrolled volley. Uh, no, you just don't get a bonus. You don't get a bonus. <laughs> okay. Um, so sixes plus sharp one practice. Is fives, right? Yep. Uh, no, I'm within twelve, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so you're fours. Oh. Close range fives. is fours. Fives is no. I know. Well, it's fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Eight hits on the Fraser. So what's the other plus one from? All on Fraser. Sopka. Uh, just a three shock. So he's hey, up, to up to six. Six. All right. Six guys. All right. And I'll be unloaded. So if you could put some smoke onto Lieutenant Elsden's men there. And we're unloaded again. Okay. okay. Downs. Downs. Down. Down. <laughs> down. I was actually thinking about breaking Downs off and just sending him with the doctor That's around. Probably your best bet. <laughs> and just say, good luck, boys. <laughs> Why would he? Downs is wound up over there. He just took uh, Van Nostrand and he's running. And next up is the Grenadiers, Van Dam. Van Dam. Level one Van Dam, he stepped in the shit earlier. He's moved up in column. And I think that's it for that. Next card. Sweet blue flag. Need a bunch more of those. <laughs> blue six. Blue six. Shiving. That is these guys back here, these Vulture Jairs. Shiving has moved up all his moves. He's got up there in front of Van Dam. Next card. Cool. The big one. Oh, wow. This is going to be... Okay, so he's over there. Mm -hmm. But you do have the drummer, so you should be able to reach all your guys. Twelve. They pulled up... Uh, so he's going to have two groups in column here. And he's also going to order this group to fire straight ahead at Lieutenant Elsden. Nine minus two, seven again. Well, yeah. Yep. Sixes. Two hits. Two hits. So one shock. And what's my shock looking at? I got four here. Yeah, four on that group and one on this group. Mm -hmm. Okay, next card. Okay. Hold the line, boys. That's all we gotta, all we can do. Uh, hey, it's your yep. sergeant. Sergeant. You can pull the shock. So he's down to four there. Um, hang on. Who hasn't gone yet? So you've had Grenadiers. The only one who's not gone is Fraser. Fraser. You've got one flag. Um. Andre's burning the flag. He's going to add it to Malat or uh, Chlorel's. Saving the flag. Take two shock. Just has not been paying off. Four. For sergeant Malat. Which is your grenadier sergeant, so he can pull the shock now. Mm -hmm. Next card. Tempest Fugit. No. Nobody has any flags. Man. Wow. Well, at least Downs got to move. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Andre's introduced a new house rule. Two-man team for uh, Downs and Van Nostren. Minus one to hit. Small target. Did you just call uh, the doctor short? <laughs> Skinny. Ah. Van Nostren. I guess it's just the hat makes him a little, dermatologist. Look a little plump. All right, here we go. Next, next card. Turned on the camera a little early. That's right, I wanted to say something about small team. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, man. All right. There's so many good ones that we come up with off camera. It's like, man, I wish we could have had that on there. Uh-oh. It's the big man again. 
Don't, don't try to assault. Yeah, don't whiff, Andre. Don't whiff again, Andre. Yeah. I should make it. Close, you got it. Just Woo. made it. So he's going to uh, move in and attack Elsden. Okay. So is this the game where you have to start in front, or does it matter where you wind up? He was behind you either way. He so. was? So yeah, that's a flank charge. All right, so he's going to hit my flank. And I'm only going to have four dice after it's all said and done here. I need to make this count. I think it's 12. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, nice did. roll. And do I whiff? Uh, you yeah, did you not. Still not. <laughs> that would have been funny if you lost the battle. Oh, that was... <laughs> oh, you got one more five. Yeah. Oh, wow. I got a good roll, Six. too. Yeah. So you beat me by two. Not as good as yours, but... Uh... So you're going to take... So check your leader. Let me check my leader. It's going to be my leader for sure. Okay, so... It's your leader, too. My leader. It's obviously my leader. Yeah. Uh, so I guess he's killed. Well, yeah, Harry Elston is dead. One. Oh, he's just dead. One. Yeah, he's... Elston's down. Elston is dead. Oh, man. And then I took uh, Shock. Oh, no. So you three shock. Three shock. Sorry about it. Uh, you got wiped out. Yeah, so I didn't. I had the shock. I never took the yeah. shock into account. So I did lose four. You, by you, four. Were, you were outnumbered four to one. So I so just lost. You're gone. So they're just gone. So and you, you have, captured Elsden. You captured the colors and Elsden. Oh, God, the colors. Ah. How am I going to explain this one? <laughs> <laughs> so you see a bad that, thing. Blame yeah. it on the left. Formation wiped out. Formation broke uh, one. Uh, there is no formation wiped out. Group wiped out twice. Okay, um, so one. Or formation broken by combat. Six, yeah. Uh, so uh, minus three for the two groups. Yep. And then formation broken by fisticuffs. Uh, minus two more. It's going to take me down to six. And then a leader, level two leader. Captured. Killed. Captured. Elston captured. And I don't like him that much. Uh, minus one, yeah. Down to five. And then, um, is there anything for losing the colors? Yeah, I probably should. <laughs> yeah, we weren't that important. We'll just give him another minus yeah. uh, one. So you're down to four. You sure? Down to four. On uh, one, I'm not even sure anybody cared about the colors. The colors are pretty important. Well, loss they of are. face. Yeah. Well, actually, loss of face, no effect on a one. I still think losing the colors, you should lose something for it. You should, but I'm thinking Who says we don't one. get them back? Well, um... We still got time. I think it would be a... Put the colors with these guys. Okay. Okay, next card. Uh, don't I get a uh, consolidation? No. I don't think so. Turn okay. Say he's got to pull three guys off to guard the prisoners from the light company. They're over here. It says one to five ratio for guards if you win by four plus, which he did. So... Three of them are hurting the light company off, and they've got the colors. All right, next card. We got lots yeah, of colors. Yeah, you don't get an exploit, apparently. Huh. I thought there was a... Oh, well, that's Elston. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been nice to have too little, uh, too five late. minutes ago. Six. Simon Anderson. Anderson. Okay. Simon Anderson and his gun crew have moved out. You know, we've actually got a little line of sight here now. Red flag. Okay. Two red flags. Hey, look at that. I'm going to sharp practice. Don't, don't move your cannon through that pile of dog. Uh... Oh, yeah. I think I might have a line of sight on you. <laughs> on those grenadiers. They're gonna get through some, the gap. They're going to get some cover for the wall, though. I'm closer to the wall than they are. Mm, so far and through it. Yeah, with the cannonball. All right, fine. It'd be heavy cover. We'll reduce them down light. to, uh, okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess I can't do a present, right? So it's just going to be fives. Still a flank shot. Yeah. In fives. Come on. But you're also in light cover. Five, five hits. hits. And you can split them amongst two groups. Yep. Because this group's the only one you can see, but it's you can splash to both of them. Okay, so the group that can be seen. Don't care. Four shock. Four shock. <laughs> you don't care about four shock? Nah. I we would. take four shock. They're grenadiers. Yeah, they don't care. You're right. And two then the other two. Eat shock for breakfast. Four two more shock. Four more shock. And so they've got oh, five damn. shock. 
That's a lot of shock. All right, next card. Blue flag oh, firing bad. random event. Oh. Oh, man. That's for my guy, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah damp powder. That's, That's a cannon. Cannon. <laughs> cannon of the nine. Charge them to hell. <laughs> <laughs> the fire surges for 2d6 inches. Sweet. Anderson's Here on the move. Come. <laughs> Woo! Look at Things moving Surge like Surge four. Cannon. Two inches. <laughs> it's moving like a cannon. And they're unloaded. Okay, next card. Well, that was interesting. Anderson. Blue five. Bill, uh, no, I'm sorry. Martin Frazier, which Frazier. is these guys here with six shock now. Six shock. Is there three shots onto the, what's left of the pow, pow, pow. light company? Uh, two hit, two or, hit. yeah, no, two hits. You needed a five. Yeah. One hit. One hit. <laughs> we can count. Yeah, it's nothing. Uh, Hicks. They don't care. Yeah, they don't care? No. Nope. Even with uh, They shot. are overshocked, though, but it was not a, an effective hit. Yeah, it didn't take anything. Okay. Uh, Lankowski. Hey, we're still alive. Lankowski. <laughs> you sound surprised. <laughs> I never thought Lankowski would be the last guy standing over here. Okay, what do we want to do? Charge? No, I'm so no. low on force morale. You want to get the hell out of there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to get out of here. So you don't have any shock. We're, we're heading out. Full speed ahead. Yeah. 14. 14. Damn. Next card. Can I make it to that weed over there? You can, if you, you can, you yeah. can even make it over into here. Okay, cool. Uh, you're going to be facing... Away. Away. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Well, it's not like you can do anything, but you rolled three to six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you haven't got good. a lot of choices. It's all good. Blue flag. Red flag. Hold on. Uh, do I want to do another sharp practice? You've only got one flag. Oh. I had two flags. Never mind. You, you would like to. Yes. Yeah, the like answer to, to that is yes. Keep firing that cannon. Downs. Da oh, downs. Downs. Oh. <laughs> Let's mosey. Three inches. No. <laughs> Six inch move only. That's horrible. Uh, oh, that's bad. That's real bad. Well, I need a few more of those after that lap. Well, at least you're in the open. Yeah, at least I'm in the open. I got that going for us. The Grenadiers. Bam, bam. The Grenadiers. Like. <laughs> He's just turned to face Anderson's cannon. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Blue flag. Blue flag. Blue. Yeah, sure. Wrong order. Oh. Again, the wrong order. Red five. Red five. Bill Thompson, way the hell over here now. Okay, he's gonna have to just get on his horse and. But get he likes fight. that hard covered grass. Yes, yes, he does. Ah, uh, eight. Well, Thompson has just moved out eight inches. One flag, blue. Tampa's a fugitive. fugitive. Okay, so Andre's got two. I got one. I got three. Yeah, he's got three. three. So what do you have left? Um, just these guys, right? No, I got. Actually, these guys, these guys. All three of them. All three of them, I believe. Okay, so you go first and then I go second. Diving, he's gonna go first. Uh, he tried to move, couldn't move with the shock. He's just gonna fire at Downs. Mm. One hit. One hit. So how does this work? <laughs> um, <laughs> I just roll a save or? Well, yeah. No. <laughs> I'm just shooting at an officer. So what if it was just two guys, if it was two infantry out there? You well, get you to roll, roll a six, six right? Well, you, roll, you ignore roll the shock, and if you roll a six, somebody got killed. Uh, it's a, well, no shock, yeah. Yeah. So he ignores shock. So nothing. And now I will go, last thing I have is Lieutenant, or Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan has moved up, and he's going to fire into shaving. First fire, so needing four is long range. Three Ooh, hits. Three hits. Soft cover. Another point of shock. Yep. So he's back up to four, and then you you can go now. What do you okay. have? Well, you got these guys. Like. I got uh, mm -hmm. did these guys. Oh yeah, they charged and captured. That was very good. That's all that we did. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Last flag after the Tiffin. Andre just moved that group. I down. screwed up. I thought they were a light infantry. Light infantry uh, unit, and then these guys already activated. They did. Yep. Because yeah. oh. they fired. They just whiffed. Fired three shots. Remember? Oh. I think that was everybody. Yeah. Next turn. Blue two. Blue two. That's this guy here. And you would get Maurice Clarell's gonna fire eight dice straight ahead. Eight dice. Sixes. Yeah, you got eight plus one minus one. 
1660s. Two yep. hits. Two hits. Nothing, Nothing again. Man. <laughs> I like company. Blue five. <laughs> Fraser here with his six shock. He's going to squeeze his shots through. No nope. hits. And reload. The cannon. The cannon is unloaded, so he will just fully reload, and hopefully we get a sharp practice. Grenadiers. <laughs> ah, the grenadiers with their, all their shock. They got nine no shock. No flags. No again, reason. the grenadiers have succeeded in turning uh, their flank to the cannon again. One. Okay, one more flag. Red five. Red five is Bill Thompson. Yep. <laughs> Bill Thompson has moved up here. Next card. You put the roof on that building. Um, for Alex four. Malat. Pull some shock. That's this guy. No, no, Malat's oh, over here. Malat is your sergeant of grenadiers. Hey, yeah, you can pull another shock, Andre. You're getting there. Next card. Loose six. Loose six is uh, shiving. Shiving. Where is shiving? Right here. There he is. Our shots. He's firing again at Five Downs and, sixes. and Van Ostrand. Small target, minus one. <laughs> Next card. Blue flag. Okay, let's get some red shit out. No, this is my turn. Uh, Leader one. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> so he's moved up, 1d6, snapped in, and then he's gonna fire an uncontrolled volley at that group that's just kind of standing there. <laughs> Don't know what to do without their leader. What, what should we do? He's just I don't know, off. man. What do you think? In fours. Fours. Ooh. That's a lot of hits. That was one hellacious roll. Uh, that's six, seven, eight hits. Eight hits in the open. So that's going to be, what's that? Eight more shock and okay. two dead. Two dead. So they're so definitely going to break. They're going to break because you are at 17 shock with five guys. So drops. 2d6 plus six. So seven off the board. Okay. So another bad thing is going to be group breaks. A two minus one. So I'm down to four. So I'm going to lose a flag. I'm going to lose a flag. Okay. But Downs is still on the move with Van Nostrand. Yep. If I can get any freaking cards out. No, we, we're just going to pull the Tiffin here. No. Tiffin time. Ah. Ooh, flag? Uh, hold on. Sorry, red flag. Do I want to do a uh, sharp practice? <laughs> Travis, don't screw up. You need to save one flag in case the tiffing shows up. You gotta, you gotta activate him. You can't. But I can't activate him on a. Can't. I have to activate him on three flags or his number. Yeah. I can't activate him after the oh. tiffing. Oh. Because he's so low. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I keep pulling. Okay. Blue flag. That's and two. Yeah, I thought you were making a huge mistake. Firing random event. For, for the big Andre. man. All right, roll 2d6. 2d6. Charge them to hell. That would be a good one. 11. Ooh, that's unusual. Boink. Boink? Yeah, livestock within 18 inches of the fire uh, or target unit will immediately move 4d6 in a so random direction. Are you telling <laughs> me I'm going to take the ass? <laughs> You're going to get the ass. Okay. The ass is going to hit me from behind. So, uh, for these, any livestock within 18. I think there's another, there's some more livestock right there. They are out. No, they're within. They're within, okay. So, so we got two, we got chickens, we got the ass. And, and the we pigs. got pigs. <laughs> <laughs> so we got all the livestock in the whole world is going <laughs> to. We need a, we need a scattered ice. All right, Andre, let's start with the pigs. See okay. which way they go. Pigs are going to. So they're just going to go this way. Okay, well, that's... Well, 46, but... Okay, uh, 40... This doesn't really... They'll just be back here, so... Uh, okay, how about uh, these chickens over here? Chickens over there. That would be... Oh, towards your man. Hey, whoa! It's that Measure that. This is important. 46? <laughs> so nine it's 7, inches. 8, 9 inches... No, it's not going to make any difference to them. They're not a formation; they can't take shock. So yeah, let's but do the ass. But, but the attack chickens just hit them. The attack chickens are at Downs' feet, packing his <laughs> boots. And and finally the ass. The ass. Come on, let's do some ass. 
Ooh. Oh, yes. He's going to go <laughs> through your formation. Right through my formation. Yeah. I oh, took yes. It. I took the ass <laughs> from uh, behind. He broke <laughs> Okay, so Andre, you broke. Your formation is broken. Okay. So you got to roll a bad thing. Formation broken. Broken formation. Minus one. Down to eight. And then you take uh, D3 shock on any group. D so both groups take D3 shock? Oh, or just the one whichever one they contacted, yeah. So, so two, two shock. shock. All right, so the ass has moved. Uh, he's and broken my, the French formation. So And it's broken? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you're not a formation anymore. Okay. Does Good that job. mean I'm not Wink. uncontrolled anymore? This is true. <laughs> Next card. Downs. Ah, perfect. Downs. I was about to burn those three flags too. <laughs> I forgot about it. <laughs> Downs is going to move out. Uh, okay. Eight inches. You can't get past the chickens. The attack chickens are definitely going to... They definitely did slow them down. Yeah. Okay, so I've got three flags also. Two flags. I Two have flags. three flags. Uh, mm, hold on. Again? Yeah. Let's go for the fourth flag. Let's get greedy here. Tempest Future. Ah. <laughs> Travis, Damn you. you get to go first. <laughs> Damn you, Andre. <laughs> I was just about to activate Lieutenant Dan with those three flags, and Andre said, Oh, you can wait for the fourth flag. But it would have been sweet Lieutenant to Lieutenant Dan has not again. activated, so you can't activate that unit with one flag. And what else hasn't activated? Lankowski. Lankowski? Lankowski. Everybody else is activated. What about me? Uh, I'm going to have Lieutenant Dan's going to reload and fire. Because he needs to get out of here. Oh, yeah. Andre doesn't have anything left. So yeah. I can just, it doesn't matter what order Correct. I do this in. So Lieutenant Dan will just load and fire that shiving. You can put the roof back fives. on the video. <laughs> if I knew where it was. One hit. One hit, Andre. Soft cover onto the shiving. One soft hit. He doesn't Nothing. Care. Okay, and then um, <laughs> Lankowski. We're just gonna head towards the board edge and the wheat field there. Not going past the wheat field in case. Okay. And if I somehow roll some magical roll here. No. Eleven. Eleven. That's. So just moving towards the board edge, keeping in the uh, wheat field, and that'll do it. Next turn. Downs. Ah, oh, perfect downs. Keep going downs. Keep going. Oh yeah. Ooh, well, well, well. well. Uh, just send it back towards Anderson. Come on, Van Nostrand. Knows he's got an appointment. Next card. Now if I can keep my force morale from breaking, I might be able to pull this off. Blue five. <laughs> Blue five. That is Martin Fraser with six shock. Fraser will pull a shock. Red flag. Thompson. Thompson. Thompson got a, I can only moved 2d6, but I got box cars, so I got a little closer to those Grenadiers than I wanted to. But they do have a lot of shock, and hopefully we're going to add a little bit more here. So I'm going to be hitting on threes. Yeah. The rifles. Are you on your 12? I think so. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Hits. Ah. Woo. One each group. Okay. Double shock. Oh come on, kills, okay. kills! We'll take you it. Want we'll kills. take it. Could have been a lot. Could have been better, but a four shock out of two hits. I can't complain. Next card. So you got a shitload of shock now, man. Seven oh, yeah. plus oh. six. I've yeah. Well, that's your big man. Big man. Here we go. So he's gonna snap in with one. You're gonna because yep. they had their formation broken by the jackass earlier. So that's and he's gonna reload and fire at. You're gonna lose one die for shock. Man. Right? You got a scattered eye uh, on there, Andre. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you say that like it was the first time. <laughs> if there's ever a scattered eye used, it's going to be in your hand somewhere. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out for that. Uh, sixes. Things that you should watch for. One! And you're in heavy cover. Okay. All right. So you are unloaded. That At least you're unloaded. Could have possibly been game right there. <laughs> could have. That was a big one. Next card. I don't think I got nothing else. Tempest Fugit. Ah. Ah. Oh man, and then I'm the, that, I'm the only one. I'm the only one that has a flag. Uh, do I have anything that hasn't? Everything but. Uh, oh, so I could fire Thompson. Lieutenant Dan again. You could fire Lieutenant Dan again. Okay, Lieutenant Dan's group will fire again at Shaving. 
Reload hit. and fire. Three, Three hits. hits. Soft cover. Mm, two, two shock. shock. So they're back up to six. Two shock, two shit. Next, uh, next turn. Red two. Oh, Tempest Fugit. of the chapter. Mm. So everyone's going to uh, reload. Yep. I lose all my shock. Everyone, nope, uh, all, French, <laughs> all French lose the shock. Uh, and actually, if uh, you have shit on your boot, you can uh, have a minute to get your knife and scrape it off. And I think that's it. So I guess we move on to the next chapter. So the Van Damme's boots are cleaned off. Next turn. Buy a house rule. Next chapter. That's right. We have a water card. It's <laughs> oh, another chapter. Again. Uh, but I do have one card. And I can't activate downs. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'll reloaded. fire. Okay, let's fire uh, Thompson again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go back. Let's fire again at Van Dam and his grenadiers. I would love to break these bastards. <sighs> Not with those rolls. Only two hits. No, three hits. Yeah. Because I'm. Um, Ooh, so you got four shock and a dead. Check your leader. Nope. So four more shock and another dead. They're going to fall back involuntarily now. They have so much shock. Bad things happen. Nine and eight. That's nothing. Okay. So Andre's still at eight. I'm at four. And the grenadiers are falling forward. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the end of that chapter again, right? Yes. So we'll just reload. And we'll start again. <laughs> Next chapter. Blue five. Blue five is Fraser. He's over here with hey. five shock. No, what do you mean? That's four, four shock. Four shock. Red flag. Tempest oh my Fugit. god, again. Um, yeah, you keep you complaining. Thompson. You keep getting Thompson. these free turns. <laughs> free to one guy. Uh, oh darn. Okay. Hey, look at this. Targets. You might be out of my out of twelve inch now though. I'll fire and half reload the rifles, but this time firing at, firing at shiving, needing fives. Three Ooh. hits, soft cover. Ah, uh, four more shock. Uh, they they're gonna, no, they're not gonna break. They're over shock, rather. Yeah, so they're gonna have ten with seven guys, so they're gonna, a uh, bad thing. Yep. For falling back. Ooh. Ooh. I think that's a minus one. Group obliged to withdraw, minus one on a six. Mm -hmm. so you're down to seven, and they gotta fall back that way. What do you what do you have? They're at ten. Yeah, so three inches that way. So, yeah. Lieutenant Dan is gonna now get to shoot. We got heavy cover. After the boys. next uh, tip in and then one red flag comes out again. Laskowski. Lankowski. Lankowski. Um <laughs> I'm thinking about just turning him. No. He's gonna haul ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about just turning around and facing, but these guys, yeah, we'll just surround. Yeah, yeah. Do it, do it. 9, 10, 11, 12. And face that way. They are. Sort of. Okay. Uh, Lankowski, don't, don't, don't kill my force morale off, please. There's <laughs> Andre's going to have a hard time getting to him. Two. Malat. Oh, I'm sorry, Clarell. That's these guys here, Andre. Oh. Oh, Reese. Clarell has moved up this way towards Thompson. Um, let's put the dead guy in the dead pile. What dead guy? The oh. lone grenadier out there. <laughs> what? The big one. Okay, well, that's these guys. The big man, Felix Boudet, has gotten the column and just advanced up. Red flag. Two. Oh, boy. Another Three, pile of poop. random event. Moving event. Moving, Moving event, event for Boudet. Yeah. If you're in column, take another advance move. They have that. Two. Hmm, that can't be good. Hello, ladies. One D3 men are convinced that a nearby building is home to some rather beautiful ladies and slip away to present their cards. The player who owns the figures must move them to the nearest building where they will remain until contacted by a friendly leader, at which point they will join whatever group he is in. So one D3 men leave the formation. Okay. One, One guy. 
Hello, ladies. He's going to appear in the window there. He's a <laughs> perv. <laughs> Go hey, I heard there was some door. ladies in here. Okay. Uh, so one guy is going to be looking for ladies. Uh huh. Muzz, muzz up. <laughs> exactly. Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Wait, no. Red 3? Yeah, that's Lieutenant Dan. Oh, it Dan. is Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan is going to just uh, fire and reload back at Shiving, but we are now hitting him on the flank, but he is in hardcover. Four hits. Four hits, Andre. Fire hardcover, hard though. Cover. Shiving. One dead. dead. Oh, just a dead. Check your leader. Check your leader. See yeah. if he's dead. Oh, it's Please. him. He's knocked out. Shiving is down. Knocked unconscious by a musket ball. Bad thing happens. Bad thing. Ooh, that's going to be a minus one at least. Status one leader wounded. Yeah, minus one. Down to six. Yeah, he's catching up to me now. Woohoo! card. The Grenadiers. You've got two flags. <laughs> the Grenadiers. The Grenadiers with their 17 shock. Okay. So we will lose two shock on each group. Okay, he's going to try to charge. Paw to charge. So I'm at six. And seven. And seven. 3d6 minus seven. Uh, that's not going to do it. <laughs> what do you mean? I made it uh, two inches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least you're facing the right way. That's why I was not happy when Wait, uh, is he moving Thompson to the rear? moved so far. He gets a free face when he, or yeah. free change of direction. Okay. Oh, but okay. I, I'm running away from uh, guys, so that means I don't uh, count my shot. Uh -huh. <laughs> Next card. Wait, he could also remove um, one additional shock. Because he's a level two? He's level two. Okay, so he's used paw to charge. He pulled four shock off for that, and you, then the fifth you one. You get an extra inch forward then. Okay, look at me go. <laughs> blue flag. Another blue flag. Okay then. Red flag. Blue yeah. flag. Yeah. Woohoo! Random event. All right, here we go. Attack. Five. Spitting Feathers. The unit conducts all movement at minus one pip per dice until they can quench their thirst with a suitable liquid. Ignore if you have a water bowser. <laughs> Chalk and spit feathers, and feathers in the mouth. <laughs> They're not doing good. Um, mallet. But you've got two flags. So that's here? Yep. No. Yeah, he's their sergeant. That's the sergeant here. Yeah. Oh. That. He's pulled a bunch of shock. He's down to nine here. Thompson. Tiffin. Thompson. Um, I think Thompson better move out of the way, <laughs> <laughs> just in case these uh, Grenadiers do something. So we're going to move back 2d6. Eight. Thompson is back here now. He's trying to make some distance between us and the uh, Grenadiers. What's that, six? Six. That's Shiving. Shiving. Oh, he's knocked out. So you can yep. see if he gets up, though, on a five up. Nope. nope. He's still laying down. Frigere. Frazier, he is here. So Frazier has moved up. We got a good move. And and I can shoot, can mm -hmm. I? Yep, just be unloaded. So you're going to have six minus two, so four shots. All I have to do is, all I have to do is kill your officer, kill Thompson. break your unit, and uh, yeah. No hits anyway. <laughs> Not so much. Tempus yeah. Fugit. Man, I need downs. You have two cards, two ha flags. Have I done games. anything? You, uh, you've had uh, Lankowski and L Lieutenant Dan and Thompson. So I have... The cannon's the only one left. The cannon's it, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess I should fire the cannon. I still got line of sight, but it won't be a flank shot. And he'll probably get heavy cover. Soft cover. Soft cover. Present and fire. One, two, three, four, five, six hits onto the grenadiers. Split them up. Three each. Okay. Front group. White, black. One uh, shock. One shock and then uh, a dead and a shock. Two shock. Oh, uh, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So two shock on the back guy and a dead, and then uh, shock on the front. We could. I'm gonna have to pull Lieutenant Dan back there so that I can start moving him after the Tiffin. 
because I'm not getting the three flags <laughs> or Dallas's card anymore, it seems like. Well, we could probably call I'm Trying this. to get Lankowski. Is, that's what I want to do is get Lankowski over there, and then he could escort him off the board. We could call this at any point here. Is it over? Oh, Are you gonna, okay. It's. Yeah. I mean, I can't. Uh, I can't stop you. I mean, there. I got no way. And if this was any kind of a non-one-off game, I'd be totally thrilled with the capturing your uh, colors. colors and <laughs> yeah. yeah. Harry Elston and a lot um, of line troops. Yeah. I, I'm just flailing in the wind at this okay. point. I mean. We'll go ahead and uh, call it a British victory. We'll come back and wrap it up. So in the end, we've gotten old Nosey's uh, doctor to him, but at a high cost. Lost a whole company of uh, light company. We lost the colors. Yeah, it's pretty ugly. But Wellington has his doctor back, so he can get his nose job done. And uh, <laughs> yeah, everyone's happy except for Elsden. <laughs> <laughs> so it was an interesting game. Uh, it's, <clears throat> I know Andre was. At the beginning, it seems really hard for the, or it is hard because oh, you've got guys coming impossible to get any from traction. both sides shooting at you. But you always got to remember that any any kind of mission where you got to get something off the edge is always going to be hard. Yeah. So even though you started in a bad spot by having fire from both directions, it's still it's not easy to get a unit well, off the board. And this is the second game we've seen. I mean, the conscripts are tough. Uh, no, these are regulars. Oh, they're regulars. Yeah. Some? Yeah. They're still, I mean, they're, you'd think that they wouldn't be, but they're tough. No, oh, they're good. Even as conscripts and volunteers, those French, with the potted charge, which Andre was not getting. Yeah. He had that uh, one, and then he was just never, me nuts. He just always had either one or no cards when his potted charge I units kept, came out. I kept not burning that one flag. Um, and then their card. Probably, what, <laughs> four or five times at least? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Just waiting for that second flanks flag to pot the charge and never. Yeah, because that's the way that French can move fast. Is whenever you you, cause you can you don't you can do it any time. It doesn't have to be a result in contact. Mm -hmm. You can just do it and pull two shock per group and move up three d six. Yeah, but it just wasn't happening. We weren't getting the flags that we needed to do it, which but sucks. It uh, well, it yeah, it was frustrating there when I was just stuck in the middle and I, because originally I was going for your base. Um, yeah, I was not coming this direction. I was just going to go take out uh, the cannon and those other guys. That's exactly, I knew that. Yeah, um, it wasn't a big secret. But my, I was telling Andre before that uh, I've had this board set up for a couple of days, so I've, I, I knew that we were going to be doing random, so both armies I kind of went through. I didn't go through as much with the French, but the British I had a pretty, this was my plan. I was going to defend the uh, main deployment point with the cannon, the rifles and one group of, group of light infantry and I was going to have everyone else try to get the prisoner and I knew I knew that I could defend this unless you sent everything like all your groups like, in a rush like I was doing yeah if you I, I knew if you just sent the two groups of grenadiers and maybe one of the Volchi Jairs this way I could probably yeah. pull them off with the cannon and the two no I was I was going to send everything if you uh, sent everything I would have had a I would have had a problem. And it, it would have hurt, but I was pretty sure I would have taken you out, and then you'd have had to come down and come through me sitting on the end of the board. Which yeah. You would have uh, you would have taken maybe a couple canisters to the face, but I think you could have probably withstood that. It, uh, well, I'd have <laughs> had as much shock as you had. Too. Yeah. If you would have just got a big line and just unloaded. Yeah. I was actually a little worried when you're, if your grenadiers were to form a line here, you could have probably... I'm surprised you stopped. I thought you were just going to get up on the edge and just form a line well, and just volley out at, this uh, at cannon. That, at that point, you had uh, the three units back there. That's right. I had Lieutenant Dan up there by then. And I, uh, I, at that point, I knew, okay, you got three units back there. My best chance is moving everything the other direction. And I just left them there long enough to pin all three of those units there. Um, and, you know, okay. One unit's taken out three units. I'll take those odds, and that'll give me a chance to try and come back and deal with your big man, which I thought if he went down, I'd have it. Uh, you got me down to four force morale. I'll yeah, that pretty well, much. <laughs> which wasn't quite it enough. It worked. It just didn't work quite well enough. Not quite well enough. Yeah, getting hit in the flank, you got a lot of rear shots in this game just from the nature of the way the deployment was where I had yeah. both sides. Whichever way you faced, you were going to be getting hit. I was taking, yeah. Well, and that what was this unit here? Um, Shaving. 
So he started here and he looks like he maybe went 18 inches the entire game. He's been carrying like four or five shock with him the whole time. Too. Yeah, he just, he got hammered that uh, that first round. Thompson nailed him. Actually, Thompson could have nailed him a second time, but I did something else, I think, for some reason. Yeah. I well, thought maybe he had enough shock. and That was just it, but it, uh, it was nice just having enough troops um, over here to where I could, you know, it's like you were trying to, you know, you broke your formation to make sure you captured the doctor. But then at that point, I was, uh, well, I got uh, some good rolls at that yeah. uh, oh, coming yeah. back in. Oh, yeah, you were, you definitely swept this side. So, yeah, it was a good game. Uh, Allen Downs, Sergeant. He doesn't get a lot of, uh, he doesn't get a lot of the glory as being a sergeant of a line, but... Every now and then. Well, he's the only person from the line company to make out. it back. <laughs> so That's true. that could be good or that could be bad. Hey, uh, Downs, what happened to the company? Uh, <laughs> I got the doctor. <laughs> yeah, but where's the rest of the light company? Uh, yeah. They're, uh, <laughs> well, I, I, there you go. Now, they're now they're eating trumpets. Uh, <laughs> maybe he needs to be promoted to Lieutenant Downs. Either that or maybe they're going to throw him in the brig for cowardice. No, they're going to send him to the Spanish. The Spanish Army? Spanish Army. Yeah, he'd be a general. Be, he's going to be sent to. <laughs> he's going to be sent to train the Spanish Army. Oh boy, no, he'll be back. He'll be back in his position. He's, hey, uh, Lieutenant Dan didn't. Uh, he's got a notch in his belt now. Didn't die. Lieutenant Dan, he uh, he did his job. I never even fired at him. He, that's true. Yeah, that's true. His whole job was just to protect this and not let anyone pass him. A little rear guard action there, and not a, a glorious game for Lieutenant Dan, but. They can't always be glorious every time. But it was for Downs. He did a great job. So, anyway, that's it for this game. Uh, it was a good, good, fun game. And first time with the Napoleonics of uh, Tabletop CP Origin, at least. We've played with Johnny's uh, French stuff several times. But this is the first time that we've used all of our own stuff. So, it's fun. Good game. And I wish we could play Sharp Practice every week. <laughs> Just sharp practice CP we is what we should change our, our name to. <laughs> It'd be awesome, but yeah, we'll keep playing other stuff. This this is my favorite game, though, by far, I think, uh, Sharp Practice. So anyway, that's enough of that. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Check out our Patreon. Check out our Facebook group. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.